So guys, let's start with today's beautiful amdi. Now let's go through the ingredients. So here I've got one cup of cooked tur dal. I'll leave the instructions of how I prepared this dal. This is six kokums or amsur, one tablespoon of gur, about three light green chilies, and some curry leaves cut up fine. This is about two tablespoons of goda masala. I leave my recipe of goda masala in the description box below. Some red chilli powder, some mustard seeds, some jeera or cumin, some hinga or asafoetida, and some haldi. Now I've taken about one tablespoon of oil, and to that, once the oil starts to heat up, I'm going to add the mustard seeds and the cumin seeds. Then I'm going to add the haldi powder. Now we're cooking on a low to medium flame. We're also going to add the hinga or asafoetida. Next, we are going to add the light green chilies as well as the curry leaves. Now we need to fry these green chilies and the curry leaves really well so that they flavor the oil really, really nicely. Next, I'm going to add my cooked tur dal. And I'm going to stir in everything really, really well so that the dal gets mixed up nicely with the rest of the fodni. Now for this dal, I took one cup of tur dal and I soaked it. I first washed it thoroughly under water thrice. Then I soaked it in some water. Say for one cup, I used about three cups of water. I soaked it for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I pressure cooked it for one whistle on high and simmered it for 10 minutes. And then once the dal is out, I just took a, a whisk or a ravi and I just, uh, uh, you know, whisked it till it became a nice and smooth consistency. Now we're going to add about one cup of water. Now the thickness, uh, you know, of the dal or, the, you know, it all depends on how you like your arm tea. Whether you like your arm tea thick or you like your arm tea thin, it's all a matter of uh, preference. So you can adjust the water as per you like it, whether you like your amti to be on the thicker side, whether you like your amti to be runny and thinny, uh, thinner. So at our place, uh, you know, we like the amti really uh, thin. So we am adding another half cup of uh, water. Now, you have to remember one thing is when it comes to dal, you know, it always thickens up as it gets cooked or as you, uh, you know, uh, as it comes to room temperature. So keep that in mind also and then adjust the amount of water that you would like. Now we're just going to bring this dal, uh, you know, just cook it on a low to medium flame and uh, we're going to let it boil, come to a gentle boil. Now I'm going to add the the jogri or the gur. This also has to be adjusted according to your taste as to whether you like the amti, you know, sweeter or less sweet. Now we're going to add the kokum or the amsura. We're going to stir in everything really, really well. So this amti, for those of you who have not tasted Maharashtra amti, it's, you know, it's... It's tangy, it's spicy, it's uh, not very spicy, not over the top spicy, but it's uh, just a perfect blend of all the different, you know, uh, senses of taste in the sense you have sweet, you have spicy, you have tangy. So it's really, really very delicious. Now we're going to add the red chili powder. Now remember we've add, add, we already added green chilies. So if you don't want your amdi to be very spicy, go very easy on the red chili powder. Now I'm going to add the most important ingredient that makes this amdi so special and that is this goda masala. Now this goda masala is homemade. I have a recipe. I've already put it up on uh, my channel. So I leave a link of it in the description box as well as the comment section below. So if you want to prepare this goda masala at home, uh, you can prepare it. It's very simple and it is. it uses regular, you know, the normal spices that we generally do have in our kitchen or our pantry. So you can make this goda masala at home or it's easily available, uh, you know, in stores too. So that is the most, uh, you know, the ingredient that makes this Maharashtra amti so very special and it stands out from other dals and amtis. Now we're going to let the dal or the amti come to a gentle boil on a low to medium flame. We're going to add our salt to taste. And then again, give it a good stir. Now 
that everything really come together very very well now uh, this arm tea goes amazingly well with some bhat or rice with some papad pickle a little bit of salad or koshmir at the side and a little bit of you know whatever the day's bhaji is now i like to add a little bit of chopped coriander or kothimbir at this point i do add a little at the end also for garnish but i like the flavor of kothimbir in my arm tea so i like to add a little bit of chopped kothimbir or coriander or cilantro at this point when it's cooking a little bit of uh, grated coconut also adds a little bit of you know uh, a different taste so that is up to you it's optional but i like to add about a, uh, you know about a tablespoon of grated coconut and now we're just going to let this arm tea simmer for an, you know on a very low flame for 10 minutes till it really becomes this beautiful dark uh, color and it's all ready friends and it it goes well you know you can just have it all by itself and i love it the next day in fact always tastes better the next day you know with some pori or roti or just plain rice like i said so try out this recipe guys and leave your comments in the section uh, below in the comment section below as to how you like this beautiful maharashtra namti thank you for watching catch you soon bye today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever i put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same So on that note I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye take care stay healthy stay fit be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again bye.